Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Trendy Go. When you think of stealing, you also think of getting away with stealing, as the two ideas generally go hand in hand with one another. This usually means that people tend to consider stealing smaller scale items, like a chocolate bar, or something that's easily taken with them, like a car. However, there are always the few of us who have a tendency to think on a larger scale, which is usually a good thing. Unfortunately, thinking on large scales doesn't always involve a supervillain in a government takeover or a criminal mastermind pulling off the best bank robbery of all time, but there is a level of thievery even above them. Guys who think a little bit bigger than everybody else. Too big, it turns out. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at five of the biggest things ever stolen. But before we jump in, please make sure you've pressed that red subscribe button along with the tiny bell icon to enter into our monthly shout out giveaway. Just comment down below saying I subscribed and we will enter you into the giveaway. Number five, a 3,000 pound bell. How often do you go to church, or in this case, a Buddhist temple, and upon hearing the bell think, ooh, I want one? Well, some other guys apparently did, and they decided to make that dream come true. You can imagine the surprise of the Buddhist monks at a temple in Tacoma, Washington, when they noticed their enormous bell was missing, especially considering the thing weighed 3,000 fucking pounds. Experts theorize that unless the thieves had some kind of superpowers, they would have had to bring a forklift and a truck to load the thing onto. With all the quiet time at those temples, you'd assume someone would have heard something, but nobody heard or saw a thing. Number four, an entire bridge. Some people build bridges, others burn them. In rare cases, some steal them. This was the case in 2012 when two men with little respect for history were arrested for stealing a 100-year-old bridge in China. The bridge was an easy target, as far as stealing entire bridges go, because it was surrounded by construction sites and received very little foot traffic. Eventually, one of the bridge's few regulars attempted to stroll over the bridge and found that it no longer existed. A police investigation ensued, and after an eyewitness described seeing culprits lingering near the bridge with a truck one night, the police were able to track them down. The thieves confessed that they'd used two cranes and two trucks to pick up and move the 16 huge stone pieces that made up the bridge. Number three, a ship. Some people just have a taste for the biggest loot. And I don't just mean kids stealing their parents' credit cards to pay for upgrades on Fortnite or PUBG. In 2017, Somali pirates with tastes on the larger side managed to hijack a fully loaded oil tanker. The ship, called the RS-13, had decided to take a time and fuel-saving shortcut through what's known as the Socotra Gap. They soon regretted the shortcut after the ship got hijacked by local pirates. In a scenario reminiscent of a certain Tom Hanks film, ransom discussions soon began regarding both the crew and the ship's contents. Once the pirates realized the tanker was under the employ of prominent Somalian businessmen, who Somali pirates tend to avoid tussling with, they released the crew and later the ship without ransom. Despite being one of the biggest thefts of all time, the payout was nothing but deep water for the pirates. Number two, a fully loaded oil tanker. While Somalian pirates can only hijack oil tankers and hold them for ransom, others just steal these gargantuan slow-moving boats outright. The tanker, called the MV Asterius, was moored at an oil field in Ghana and was being guarded by the Nigerian Navy. Now, two things. One, we suspect the Nigerian Navy isn't all that impressive. Two, the MV Asterius had an all-Russian crew. The boat happened to be chartered by two different oil companies, GNPC and Lushan Eternit, who both blamed each other when they clearly should have been blaming the Russians. The boat was never recovered and no suspects or leads have been reported. Later, in the same year, two more tankers were also stolen overnight, further insulting the Nigerian Navy. One tanker, the MV Gmo, was found repainted. While that works great on cars, at least in the Grand Theft Auto universe, we doubt it has the same effect on ships. And number one, the Empire State Building. Yeah, you heard right. The Empire State Building was stolen, and it only took 90 minutes. Let me repeat, the Empire fucking State Building was stolen in 90 minutes. Though you may be disappointed to learn that the actual theft did not involve a massive underground drill or a supersized Superman villain helicopter. No, instead, the building was stolen by New York Daily News. Through an elaborate but not that difficult process of forgery, the news agency managed to create documents for a bill of sale and other undisclosed legal documents convincing enough to make the New York City Office of the City Register transfer the title of the building to Nilots Properties, LLC. You notice that? Nilots is stolen backwards. Oh, you didn't? Well, don't worry, neither did the Office of the City Register. You know what else they didn't notice? Some of the important names on the documents, like the witness and the notary, who happened to be Faye Ray, the original King Kong star, and Willie Sutton, the famous bank robber, respectively. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share your thoughts about these robberies in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next video.